God for that selection. The next selection is going to be from the Cape Town South Africa Choir.
give Cape Town, South Africa another round of applause. Wow. Next in our program, we have a choir selection from the International Mass Choir.
Captain President, Sister Taylor, Vice President, Brother Sundin, and Portsmouth, Virginia, Sister Vivian. Greetings, everyone. We do strive to give our all honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We do give honor to the former prophets and apostles that's going on before us. We do thank God for our present day leader, Pastor Jennings. We do thank God even for our baptism and the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. We just thank God for another youth conference that we've had here. It's been a blessing, and I just thank God for everything that everyone has done. We're gonna give a very brief, very brief youth update on what the youth has been doing, as well as um, just a token of love from the youth of First Church uh, to Pastor. J just a very small token of love from the youth to Pastor Jennings, um, just celebrating his 40 years of leadership that the Lord has allowed him and blessed him to lead the people of God for 40 years. Greetings. I first want to give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, former prophets, former apostles, our present-day leader, teacher and guide, Pastor Gino Jennings, all of our elders, our ministering brothers, our brothers and sisters far and near, truly giving God thanks. Yes, we are here celebrating our 28th youth and 40 years of leadership, but we cannot forget Ernest Bishop Jennings. As we, the youth, we were discussing what theme did we want to go with, and we realized quickly that how can we celebrate the 28th or the 40th year not giving Ernest Bishop Jennings what was due unto him? As many of us know, a conversation took place and the pastor had an offer to be a, a famous musician. You know, he could play very well. So he went to his father with God's permission, the only one at that time that was qualified to answer this, say this to him, that pretty much changed everyone here's life. He went to his father and his father looked up and said something like, what would a man profit in exchange for his soul? That was profound. I couldn't imagine, and I don't know if Pastor had took that position, what would have happened. But what we do know is that it wouldn't have been this version. <laughs> Can y'all imagine another Sister Darlene? Nah, nah. Humble, meek, nah. Can y'all imagine seven other Jenny's kids? <laughs> nah, they would have told this place up. I couldn't imagine. No whims? No dandy man? <laughs> nah. So on behalf of the youth, we're asking that you all continue to keep us in prayer, right? Mm -hmm. Continue to pray for the youth. Continue to pray for our leader. That is a God's gift, our apostle. We have an apostle. God is watching how we take care of him. God is watching us how we treat him. But more importantly, keep God first. So our youth update is, um, as the work grows, one of pastor's biggest thing is he always wants to see growth. And how can we not grow and expand and include as many of our brothers and sisters as possible? As you've seen over the past weekend, we were able to bring on um, Corella South India. Uh, we, were also to, we were also able to bring on Cape Town. And this year, so far, we've also included youth captains out of Berlin, Cape Town, uh, South Corella, High Wycombe, England, and we're continuing to expand um, throughout all the islands. I'm happy to have our national youth president from Jamaica, Brother Andrew. This is his first time here. 
<laughs> oh, so this is his first time traveling completely out at all outside of Jamaica. So we were happy that he was able to come. We thank God for even the expansion of the different programs that we're starting up. Um, the program is a mentoring program and brother Ricky Johnson, wherever he is around here, but he had a program called Man Up, a mentoring program for brothers. So we decided to partner with him and that's one of our endeavors that we're doing this year is partnering and making Man Up a national and international program for all of our young brothers to be mentored by brothers in the faith that's older, that's following leadership, that's not a problem, but they're getting good mentorship from solid men of God. And we just thank God for the, the, that progress that we just made this year. Greetings, brothers and sisters. First and foremost, I'd like to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he is the head of my life and indeed our soon coming King. I give double honor to the former prophets and apostles of old, Double honor to our current day leader, teacher, and guide, Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. I give God thanks for the faithful ministering brethren who labor along with the man of God in the vineyard of holiness. I also give God thanks for the different auxiliaries who cooperate well, the ushers, medical unit, photography, hospitality, uh, security, uh, uh, culinary, media, communications. We truly give God thanks because as a whole, we have to communicate together in order for things to cooperate. So I'm grateful to God for all the auxiliaries. <clears throat> um, so, you know, as we were discussing on what to, you know, celebrate and give pastor for 40 years of fellowship, we have to be very careful when you're getting something for the man of God. As he's very particular and we didn't want to get something to him and now he's killing us from the pulpit right after. So, <laughs> we, <clears throat> we said, you know, all of this, it, it, it started from a basement. And what we wanted to do is uh, get a compilation of, uh, you know, different locations uh, to give a simple thank you and a video that we've done together. But I want to say before you, we watch the video, just keep in memory that what you're about to see, just remember that this message started from a basement. And to see the growth where people here, uh, India, South Africa, or the islands and all bunch of countries, it's all started from a basement. And now we're here today. And um, uh, for 40 years, we are truly grateful for our leader, teacher, and guide. I am truly grateful for the apostle, and I'm one to believe that I don't want to give flowers to somebody when they're on their deathbed or when they're sick or they're about to die tomorrow. So I want to say to the apostle as he's here, I'm grateful for you. I love you, and I thank God for you each and every single day because from your messages, from your teachings, not only my life, and not only the brothers and sisters here, but there's people who's never even been to church claiming the apostle as his leader. And when you have a man of God like that, only God can be behind someone like that. So we truly, truly give God thanks for the apostle. And, you know, 40 years of fellowship, it's not just 40 years of pastoring. It's 40 years of dealing with our problems, 40 years of being lied upon, 40 years of being betrayed, 40 years of being threatened, 40 years of being attacked, but he still comes on the pulpit to give us the word of God and not change. So please. So please bear with us as we're about to play the video of the compilations of different temples uh, in the thank you that they've given on to Pastor. And you don't go to no world preacher get no knowledge. They have to come from God chosen and sent preacher. That's right. Huh? Amen. Thank God. Then if God will make a teacher thank God, then God will make it black the Bible said. Right. Isn't that right? That's right.
strive to see my Jesus, the man who made me free. And now we'll turn the service over back in the hands of Mark Moretti. Greetings, brothers and sisters. So before we read the announcements, prepare yourself for the offering. Prepare yourself for the offering. Greetings again, brothers and sisters. You all sound wonderful. <laughs> Welcome to the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are still celebrating the 28th International Holy Youth Convocation, the 35th telecast, and the 26th radio anniversary. And we're still celebrating 40 years of leadership. As always, you want to continue to keep Pastor Jennings in your prayers, as well as his family. You want to pray for the brothers that labor along with them and their families. You want to continue to pray for the sick and the shut in. The youth department, as always, you want to continue to pray for one another. And you want to remember those that seek in the Holy Ghost, that the Lord will soon fill them. First announcement says, greetings, brothers and sisters. We would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to everyone who participated in today's activities. Please note that hot refreshments will be served after service in the gym, and the remaining youth t-shirts will also be on sale. The cost is $20. For any questions and information concerning future events, you can visit our youth events page or email the youth captains at youth underscore captains at fcooljc.com. Peace be unto you all. This comes from your First Church youth captains. Also on Sunday, there will be a free dinner platters after the service. All registered buses can pick up the platters on the third floor. Please send brothers to pick them up. But the actual platters for those that stand, that would take place in the lower gymnasium. Also, if anyone uh, wants to join the Haitian choir, after 15 minutes after the service, you can meet Sister Esther over here by the brother's side for those that desire to join the Haitian choir. Next announcement, it says, greetings, brothers and sisters. To ensure the safety of everyone while inside the temple and on church grounds, we are encouraging everyone if you see something, say something. Parents are also advised to accompany your small children to the restrooms. All complaints and concerns can be forwarded to the First Church Security. Your cooperation is this matter, or your cooperation in this matter is greatly appreciated. Thank you and peace be unto you all. Also, we're gonna say this again, please clean up after yourself. We're still in God's house, amen? So after, I ain't getting a lot of amens on that one. So when you, when you leave out of here, take the bottles with you. Take your trash with you. Amen? I got two claps. Can I get a third? All right. Next announcement. Uh, this is regarding the airport pickup and the drop-off from headquarters. It says the first church shuttle service operates from headquarters to the following. Philadelphia Airport, the train, and the bus stations. Please plan accordingly. On Sunday, March 31st, 11 a.m. from headquarters to Philadelphia Airport, train and bus stations, that's the Amtrak, Megabus, and Greyhound. At 3 p.m. from headquarters to Philadelphia Airport, train and bus stations. Monday, or also, uh, yeah, Monday, April 1st, pickups from the following hotels, Courtyard, Hilton, Homewood Suites, and Residence Inn. 
at 4.30 a.m. from all listed hotels to the Philadelphia airport, train and bus stations. 9 a.m. from all listed hotels to the Philadelphia airport, train and bus stations. 12 p.m. from all listed hotels to Philadelphia airport, train and bus stations. Again, that's the Amtrak, the Megabus, and the Greyhound. For the Delta Hotel, please utilize the hotel shuttle service for airport drop-off. Thank you. This comes from the transportation team. Also coming from the transportation team, uh, this is the headquarters campus. It says, greetings. For those returning to the hotels, please meet in the gymnasium immediately after the service and remain until the vehicle is ready. For the visiting buses, the pickup location is still on 5th Street. Again, those that's traveling away, that you can be uh, over there on 5th Street to, for the pickup. And those that's going back to the hotels, you can meet in the lower sanctuary. And the last announcement, God is still in the Holy Ghost giving business. We certainly thank God much. As it is around this time, 14 years ago, that the Lord blessed me to come walk here in holiness. And I'm thankful I was struggling with trying to receive the Holy Ghost. It was very, very difficult. And I felt like I, I felt like I was doing everything. And it was very, very difficult. And Pastor Jennings would always give me encouragement. And then one day I was just, I don't know, I just felt like I was miserable not having the Holy Ghost. And I remember this sister, and I thank God much for her. The sister said, God get joy at seeing you continue to have faith to go after him. And yet nothing happened, but you're still having the faith. And from that day, that was on a Saturday, the following week, which was on May 22nd, 2016, uh, that was the day that I believe the work started in the basement. And so pastor came up, and he was talking about the basement, and I speak the truth and lie not. Pastor Jennings said the same thing that this sister had told me the week prior while he was preaching the word of God. The Holy Ghost fell on me. And I received, hallelujah, hallelujah, I received the Holy Ghost. Well, hallelujah, while he was preaching the word of God. So don't think that you can't receive it while the man of God is preaching tonight. You, hallelujah, hallelujah, you can receive the Holy Ghost. Be encouraged, brothers, hallelujah, be encouraged. At this time, we're going to turn it over to, hallelujah, to our media director. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Elder Dan Thompson. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Greetings, everyone. It is good to be here, is it not? First of all, we want to give the highest due respect and honor to our maker, uh, the creator of heaven and earth, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it's through and by him that all things here are made possible. Is that right? We thank God because uh, he is the only wise and true living God. Uh, he's the one that's made us for his glory. Uh, in all things, we must always remember, my God, everything we do, we want our offering up before him to be acceptable. Is that right? My God, we thank him for the way of holiness. Thank him certainly, my God, for this plan that he has laid out so perfectly to be unfolded in his time. Uh, we thank him so much, so much uh, for all the deceased brethren of the past, the prophets and all the apostles. Uh, we thank God for them and for the word that they spake in their time. Uh, we certainly give due respect to our leader, Pastor Jennings. And as everybody knows, this is the year that is 40 years since his leadership began. Uh, it is a very long time, and we certainly want to continue to work along with him uh, to keep him in prayer. Is that right? None of this is possible, saints of God. None is possible without the mercy and direction of God himself. None of it. Thank God for all the ministering brethren, likewise. And certainly for you, the saints of God and visitors that are here with us to celebrate God again. Uh, this is the youth convention. It is the 28th, I do believe, uh, youth anniversary or youth convention. Uh, it's our 35th radio anniversary, I believe it is, and our 26th telecast anniversary. Again, we're so grateful for the gathering of God's people together. We're grateful and thankful for Brother Mark's testimony. 
I'm sure everyone that's received the Holy Ghost has a story to tell. Everybody. Everybody has a story to tell. Uh, when one receives the Holy Ghost, it's something that you never forget. Never forget. And the reason for that is, is that because when one receives the Holy Ghost, you actually receive a taste of the powers of the world to come. A taste of heaven. So we thank God for his blessings. Uh, we're not going to delay the time any longer, but we do want to acknowledge and give way to one of our ministers from a long way away. A long way away from here. I do believe at this point in time, it's already Sunday where he comes from. Minister Mars from Australia. Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ, to whom all respect are due, to whom all thanksgiving are due, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob, God of Minister Mars and the South Pacific. We honor God Almighty to the apostles and prophets of old, our dear pastor, teacher, and guide, Pastor you know, Jennings. Thank you for being an inspiration to the South Pacific. 40 years of service unto God. I bring greetings from the whole South Pacific, from the island of Samoa, we say Talo for Lava. From the island of Tonga, we say Malo Elele. From the island of the Cook Islands, we say Kiorana. From the islands of New Zealand, we say Kiora. And from the islands of Fiji, we say, Bula Vinaka. <laughs> Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you, Lord. I have seen God moved like I've never seen in my whole life. Since 2019 until, the, until this day, I assure you, God is real. And I'll say this again, I'm still here. I've missed a lot of our holy convocations due to infirmities and illnesses that my body has taken a toll on, or many missions we have taken in harsh environments. And God has continued to bless us. I've been hit with COVID five to six times. In every mission, I go on, I come back sick as anything and try to recover and attain another mission. Come back and recover, not only COVID, also with gastro because of the food and the water in different countries. So I have to learn how to adapt, adapt and eat and not to eat, drink and not to drink. Praise the Lord, and I have to excuse myself to the brothers and sisters in different countries. I have no disrespect of what you cook for the minister, but there are things I avoid to eat because I love to eat all of it, but my body don't agree with it. So I've learned, and I thank God, and also I would like to honor and appreciate God for Brother Christopher, who has been by my side ever since. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, since I've been in the truth of God, I never seen myself being hated so much. Praise he the Lord. <laughs> I'm so thankful to God, I thought I lived in the South Pacific. I knew about the South Pacific and the traditions that comes with it. But being in the truth of God, there's a lot of darkness I have no idea about in my own countries dark that you never want to know where people is killing our own people by using them in traditions and culture. Unbelievable. God opened my eyes into different uh, places and traditions where we got challenged many times. There are environments we put ourselves at risk 
where the environment can break out into a riot and kill us. No protection, nothing can hold, but God was always there. We got into a position where we actually got challenged by, when I say chiefs of the islands, to take, it's a tradition where you take a car, what they call it, to drink. And you have to accept the challenge in order for them to accept you into their country. That's tradition. And we were surrounded by it. But for the first time in my life, I never feared man. No matter how it is, how the challenge was coming, I stood there. I knew there was someone behind me. <laughs> Much stronger against anybody that stands in the way, so I declined the offer and drink not. And I told everyone everywhere I went, the tradition of man means nothing to me. I have only one tradition, God. With all these challenges, brothers and sisters, I've learned to depend on God more and more and more. And I've seen God move ahead of me in many ways and in many things. And because a lot of challenges you get from these missions, I know one day I still need to come back home to strengthen again and to carry on. But I thank you for all your prayers. We thank God for the growth of the truth of God in the South Pacific within four years. We have 25 locations. Praise the Lord. And in the South Pacific, there are different sections. You have the Polynesians, you have the Micronesians, and you have the Melanesians. We will, we will be focusing on the Polynesians, which is us. But by God's permission, the Micronesians are calling for the truth of God. It never even crossed my mind that I will go there one day. And other places are opening I've never heard in my whole life. I prayed, Lord, you lead. I'll just follow behind you. Wherever you take us, we're going. And that is what God is doing. And I'm so thankful to God for the truth of God. There's nothing else there. If somebody tells you, haven't you left yet, brothers and sisters, I encourage you, there's nowhere else to go. God brought us here and let God take you home. I praise God for the growth of the church in the South Pacific and I pray that you may continue to pray for us. God is moving in the South Pacific and I thank God even around the world. And before I finish, I would like to thank the church in the island of Samoa for the blessing of a piece of land to the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And before I close, before we went to Samoa, brothers and sisters, I've never met the pastor that is there, I've never met anybody. But they already had plans that they give to the chiefs on the island to allow the first church to be established in Samoa. We had nothing to do with it. <laughs> nothing. Then when we arrived in the country for the first time we met, we went to meet the chiefs to get the permission to allow the first church to operate in the island of Samoa without anybody, anybody even interfering with it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The tradition was to pay them with some finance and some cartons of food. So they did that without us knowing and had no part of it. And I asked the brother pastor that is there, how much do we owe you? He said, nothing. We bring you in because we want God here to save our people. 
So to everyone that is in the South Pacific right now, whatever church you are in, run. The truth of God is going to invade every country in the South Pacific in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And I'm praying one day brothers and sisters from the South Pacific will be coming to our holy convocation so they can be fed more with the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Please pray for my strength and I continue to pray for you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Blessings. All right, we thank God so much for Pastor Mars from Australasia, which covers all Australia and everything else. Uh, for those who are not familiar where he's from, take some time to look at the world map, and you'll see he's from the ends of the earth. And that's where the word of God is going to go. Is that right? Uh, I said some time ago to Pastor Jennings that many, many years ago that God's going to give him everything he needs to get this word to the entire world. And for those who don't realize it today, you'll realize it in the future. You're in something great, although you may not realize it, but give it time. Is that right? We're going to stay in the South Pacific and call upon another brother who I have not met yet, Brother Tohito from the island of Fiji, I believe it is, in the South Pacific. Is he close by here? Brother Tehito. Brother William, run quickly, please. <laughs> All right, Brother William. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Uh, I would like to take this time to thank the Almighty God for what he has done in my life. Praise God. I thank the former holy prophets and apostles of old, and our current day leader, Apostle Gino Jennings, and all the ministers that labor faithfully uh, in his vineyard. It is a blessing for me to be here in this place. This is my first time traveling outside of Fiji, outside of the South Pacific. I know for a fact that coming all the way from the Fiji Islands is not that easy, especially the things that is done in the, the government as well as uh, the visa, getting visa approval and the payment and all this scheduling and all these uh, things that I go through. I thank God that I'm here because uh, uh, I feel that uh, I need uh, something to encourage myself, uh, uh, I mean to, uh, and I thank God uh, before I came, uh, I had the, the gift of the Holy Ghost, and I thank God for what he has blessed me with, and, and, and cut the long story short, for, uh, I was baptized uh, in, the, in the end of July, and October 8, 2003, God had filled me with his Holy Spirit, and I feel coming here. I feel coming here into this place. I was telling Minister Mars yesterday that I feel that God has gone right deep inside of my soul, and and, and sort of like, like remove everything that is not of him and replace him with himself inside of me. And I thank God for that privilege. I mean to be blessed, I mean to be here in this place. Uh, brothers and sisters, I do encourage you. You are indeed blessed in this place. Uh, and I thank God uh, for, for the first church here uh, in the, in the, in the U US. And I thank God uh, for giving me this opportunity to come here and to worship uh, God with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. And, and may the good Lord bless us all in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. All right.
All right, thank God for Minister um, Brother Williams from Fiji. Again, go back to your map and take a look and see where Fiji is. It truly is a long way away from here. But we thank God for all that have gathered here for this, another gathering of God's people to worship God in spirit and in truth. As many know, this is the Truth of God television program. It was a radio program at one time, but now it's a television program and radio. And we thank God for this celebration at this present time. We ask you always to sit attentively to listen to the word of God that comes forth from our leader, teacher, and guide, the Apostle Pastor Gina Jennings. It's food for the soul. Here now is our leader, teacher, and guide, the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We bear witness there's only one true living God. That's all it ever was. That's all it ever will be. We thank him for sending the prophets and the apostles. We are indebted to him for the way of holiness made known to them for our learning I can never thank God enough for the way of truth. The Bible says the way of truth shall be evil spoken of to all of our beloved ministers and brothers and sisters. We thank God for this day. It made my heart feel just so good to see up on the screen what the youth department have organized. <laughs> to see just some of the locations. You didn't see all of them, but just some of them. That by the preaching of the word of God, God have blessed the souls of many to wake up bring us out of darkness into the marvelous light of the gospel. I can never thank God enough for the day that he made himself known to us. To be pastoring these 40 years, it certainly have not been easy at all times. Anything that's worthwhile, don't come easy. And you're still in the prefix of the thing, just the beginning. I know that's hard for some folks to conceive, but I don't have words to express to you and relate to you the things that God has showed us. But what God has done and is doing so far None of our enemies can deny the moving of God. You may not like it. You may rebel against it. You may not understand it, but nobody can deny what God Almighty is doing in the truth of God. Now, let us understand something. Whenever God is in anything, and hear me good, the devil is not far behind. Am I right, I said? The objective of the devil is to hinder anything that God starts. Hinder it, frustrate it, and if possible, Stop it. He know he can't stop God, but it don't stop him from trying. He was so determined to bring or change the ways of God until war was in heaven. Think of that. How the devil was so determined to change the ways of God, the thinking of God, the position of God until he was willing to fight for it. 
and he was persuasive. If he was not, a third would, of heaven would never believe what he said. I will be like the most high. I will exalt myself above the stars. Oh, he have a lot of nerve. But that didn't stop him from trying until war broke out. But thank God he had some faithful angels. You know, for Michael the archangels, angel and those that was with him to fight the devil, they had to be faithful. Not only faithful, dedicated to the Lord of creation. That they was willing to fight and stand with their God. Glory to God, so Lucifer couldn't win. The devil couldn't win then, and I'm inclined to believe he certainly can win now and never will. So I'm, I'm thankful when I look at you that are here so far and the millions that are watching. You know, there are many preachers that is upset with this message and they are upset with the progress of the work of the Lord. Many watch us and even they remember when we were in the basement. They remember. I remember when we went in the basement and some of the churches that we used to fellowship with, members would come by, laugh at us, crack jokes about us. Bishops would come and try to coerce me, wanted me to come work under them. And they had no gospel to work under, nothing. One bishop told me, what are you doing in the basement? He said, God never moved on nobody to start a work in the basement. That's low. I told him the Bible says, let the brother of low degree rejoice that he is exalted. He asked me, where's that at in the Bible? I had to show him. You see, God Almighty, when he has sent a man, he don't give that man everything at one time. God is teaching him, training him how to appreciate small things. And God evaluates how he acts when there's small things. His dedication, his loyalty, his commitment. And then God will add to his virtue. And as God add to his virtue, he do it gradually to make sure that man don't get out of focus. See, if God dump everything on you at one time, you may be so overwhelmed and so carried away about it, you look at yourself and turn your eyes off God. Amen. So God, in his divine wisdom, glory to God, when he started me out in the basement, I saw this work that he showed me. I couldn't number the people. In my mind, it wasn't going to happen right away. Notice I said in my mind. But he already spoke in my thoughts. It's not your thoughts. When I was in the basement, I never thought I'd be there for five years but it gave me appreciation. I knew where God was taking me, but he was trying my patience and he made me wait. Amen. God made me wait. You know, if God don't move when you think he should, and if he choose not to move, you don't have a choice but to wait if you want what you want. So I waited and waited and 
kept counting the years as they go by. And different ones will come and mock and tease, mock and tease. But I was not discouraged by them because I knew what the Lord showed me and that was the only thing that kept me from backsliding as a very, very young man. In my teens was when God started to deal with me and the only thing that kept me hold fasting to him was the visions that he showed me. He gave me hope. Thank God in the Bible said, hope make if not ashamed. When I would tell my wife about it, I would tell Williams about it and Brother Ravenel about it and different ones, they would tell me, well, when it going to start? I told them, I don't know. My wife would ask me sometime, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm sure. She said, because I'm tired of this. I said, that's all right. William said, where are we going to start at? I said, I don't know. And at the time, I didn't know. But when heaven spoke to us one early Sunday morning, Come out from among them and be separate. I went back to the church that day and read for the preacher. And then after that, only ones was in the building. After I was done preaching and I read for the preacher through the years, it was me, Williams, and my wife, Sister Jenny. So then I told both of them, my wife said, where are you going? I said, I'm going upstairs. This is our last day here. William said, what did you say, Nikki? <laughs> this is my, our last day here. Dottie said, are you for real? I said, yes. I said, I'll be back. Y'all wait down here. <laughs> I went up in the office, met with the preacher began to itemize to him the things that great Jehovah showed me. Didn't make up nothing. Didn't eat some black eyed peas and caught gas and that gave me a dream. You know, a lot of folk have a gassy dream. <laughs> quick as they come, quick as it go. But I began to itemize to him. He jumped from his desk and hit his desk with authority. Boom. Where are you going to start this work that God told you about so you claim? I said, I don't know. He said, you see there? God ain't never told no man to go somewhere he don't know where he was going. I said, he told Abraham. The Bible speaks plain that Abraham knew us not where he was going. But he went by faith. He said, if I don't raise my hands over you and bless you, you will never amount to nothing and nobody will follow you. I wasn't phased and he knew I wasn't because at an early age, I was blessed to differentiate God, Satan, and me having desire to do something. Those priorities you must keep in order all your life. Be able to tell the difference from you feeling like you want to do something versus God demanding you do something. I moved with fear and impatience. Took my time. My father said, all right, if God sent you to lead the people, I'm going to follow you, but I'm going to watch you. My father said, God didn't make me a leader. God did not call me to lead nobody. He said, if you say God call you and send you, he said, Gene, I'm going to follow you, but I'm going to watch. I said, fair enough. So then, 
We got our chairs together and started in the lower basement. And I remember when we all had that first day of service. <laughs> oh, how happy we was. I, by the Spirit, had to undo years of bad teaching. Years of bad teaching bring on bad tradition. <laughs> Took time to pull off the traditions of men. But by the grace of God, slowly but surely, God was using the word of God to correct me on this, correct me on that, and correct me on the other. One thing about growth and development, if you're not able to accept the correction of God from scripture, you won't be saved. Correction of scripture is just as important for your salvation as obeying scripture. The word of God corrects us to save us. And God knows I'm determined to be saved. So I waited. I waited. I wouldn't do anything until I was moved by the Lord. And one thing I learned what the moving of God was, he always would point me back to scripture. My father sometimes would make a suggestion. Son, won't you do such and such a thing? I said, all right, but I'm gonna wait and see what the Lord says. He said, all right. He had come to me again, son, won't you do such and such a thing? I said, all right, but I'm going to wait. See what the Lord says. And he got familiar with my response until one day he said, you know what? Anytime you're willing to wait and let the Lord lead you, he said, let me ask you something. How do God lead you? I said, through the word. He said, boy, you got it right. The leading of God is through and by the words of God. And when God leads you, it is written, they that are led by the spirit are the sons of God. And Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, the words, the words that I speak unto you, thank God they are spirit and they are life. And God used the word in order for the church to be led. Thank God there's nothing else that leads the church outside of the GPS system of the word. So I waited. And waiting on the moving of God, he was showing me many things and even I would wait on them. I would never, never, you know, when you run ahead of the spirit, the spirit will reprove you. Sometimes anxiousness, eagerness, wanting something to be done so bad right now, you will run ahead of the spirit, meaning you will ignore the scriptures and run ahead of what's written and think that it's God. Wait. Never jump in front of the scriptures because God ain't going to follow us. We got to follow him. Amen. So I, I, I've been taking my time 
Sometimes I feel as though that God wasn't moving quick enough. I got frustrated. Thank God, but the peace of God gave me so much comfort. You know, there's nothing like the peace of heaven. That's true. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's true peace when God give it. And I waited many years until I saw God start to move line upon line, precept upon precept. And when I recognized the moving of God, I remember saying to myself, this is how God is going to do it. Line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. So I might as well just follow God's program. And I'm doing that, following the program, the blueprints that the Lord our God laid down to us over 40 years ago. Amen. The blueprints that he laid. The intelligence of men is good, but the blueprints of God is better. When men tell me you cannot accomplish this, you can't do that, I just look and brothers and sisters have been around me for a period of time. No, I don't pay you no mind. That's right. Why? The Lord has spoken. Lord spoke. We serve a real God. Yes. Thank God, man, nobody can convince me otherwise. We serve a real God. Viewers, we serve a real God here. We thank God for this youth conference and I thank God for our young people. Amen. I remember when I was your age, looking at you makes me reflect back. When I was young and little like you were in elementary school, six years old, repenting of my sins and baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, 11 years old, was baptized with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Think of it. Baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus for 55 years, Holy Ghost speaking in tongues for 50 years. Wonderful. So I believe I can tell you young people something. Oh, yes. I believe I can tell you a little something. Oh, yes. We want to talk about this evening the Holy Ghost. I want to take my time and detail it. So Williams, you better follow me. I'm praying and ask God to help you keep up with me. Before you are told to receive it, you need to know who it is. Are you listening? Look at the word. It's a compound word. Holy Ghost. Holy describe the characteristics of God. Let us know what kind of spirit is he? What kind of God is he? Holy, undefiled, clean, flawless, spotless, infallible, perfect. Are you getting what I'm talking? Ghost, spirit, Divine, eternal, always was, always have been, no beginning, no ending, without mother, without father, without descent, no beginning of days, no end of life, fulfill everything, moves according to his own will, He can be shapeless and formless and come in a form. 
Did you hear me? Let me give you a Bible, the 53rd chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 53. And we'll start reading at the very first verse. Listen. Who hath believed our report? Who hath believed our report? Who hath believed our writings? The I writings of the prophets is the testimony of Jesus, and the writing of the prophets is the report that they gave us from the Spirit of God. Hear me good. Who hath believed our report? Who believe what we wrote? That's right. Who believe Who? what we itemize? That's right. Who believe our various experiences? That's right. Who believe our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? What? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. He shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form. What, 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 what? He hath. He. He. Have. No form. No form. Nor comeliness. He. Have. No, no form. form. No form. God can be formless. God can be shapeless. God can be without fashion, within fashion. Are you listening? God is of no gender like the earth, male or female, but yet he bears the title he. Say, how can you say that for him to be he? He got to be a male. The prophet says, God is not a man. That's right. That he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. So he that can be formless and shapeless and yet cover the universe while he exists in form. Right. Did you hear me? That's right. He that is shapeless and formless and exists in the universe at the same time exists in eternity, at the same time go past eternity and dwell in everlasting. Right. Formless, shapeless, and exists in form, meaning he exists in man and in the woman. Holy Ghost. Another title of the Holy Ghost is Holy Spirit. Spirit, ghost, same thing, describes God's nature. God is a spirit. So then when you ask yourself what kind, he is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Are you listening? Yes, so God's first nature, spirit, spirit divine. In order for him to dwell in man, that divine spirit must come in man. There are many actions, many doings, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Of the Holy Ghost. And at verse 6. Get me. And there are diversities of operations. There are diversities of operations. But it is the same God. It is the same God. Which worketh all in all. That work all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit. The manifestation of God is the given. Spirit, the Holy Ghost, is what? Is given to every man. Is given to every man. To profit with all. To profit by it. Yeah. You will profit with all. His spirit moved upon the face of the deep. Who did? God did. He breathed into man the breath of life. Man become a living soul. Who did? God did. The prophets asked God, let your Holy Ghost. I, I need to read that quickly. Read that, right. Let your Holy Ghost That's right. come into me. That's right. Here's the prophet pleading with God to reside in me. Second Esther chapter 14 
And verse 22. Says what? But if I have found grace before thee. This is what you need to have in the presence of God. That's right. If I, I have found, found grace before glory thee. Glory to God. Grace before thee. Send the Holy Ghost. Send it. Into me. Hallelujah. Nobody goes to get the Holy Ghost. That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. Nobody goes to get it. You come to God to receive it. That's right. It's a gift. And the gift must be given to you. But God has to count you worthy to obtain it. That's right. Because the truth of the matter is, who is worthy? Who's worthy? For God to dwell in you. That's right. You that are watching, I'm pretty sure you were taught that God does not dwell in the unclean temple. Well, that's a lie. God comes in the unclean to clean them. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 8. Let me show you where God dwells. 1 Kings chapter 8 and we're at the 12th verse. Listen. Then spake Solomon. Then spake brother Solomon. The Lord said. Glory to God. The Lord said that he would dwell. He would dwell. He would reside. He would occupy. In thick darkness. In thick darkness. Thick darkness. When you are in thick darkness, you are in your sins. That's right. For the greatest of all darkness is the ignorance of God, which brings about the ignorance of self. That's right. Imagine God having mercy and grace on you. Hallelujah. That he would take time to dwell in your thick darkness. Thick darkness. Are you listening? Hallelujah. He come in the thick darkness. Thick darkness. To remove the darkness gradually, that light may take over your temple. That's right. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, Holy God. Do we understand who he is now? But if I have found grace before thee. What is the name of the Holy Ghost? The question is, not only what is his name, who sends him? That's right. That's right. Give me John 14, John. 26, and then give me John 15, 26. St. John. Hear me, hear me, hear me, go ahead. That's right. Listen. St. John chapter 14 and verse 26. Yes. But the comforter. Hold it. Here's another title for the Holy Ghost. The comforter. The comforter. Which, which is, is the, Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost. Jesus is talking. Th that's right. What? Whom the Father, Whom will, the send Father will send in my name. In my name. He shall teach you all things. He shall teach you everything. And bring all things to your and remembrance. And bring everything to your remembrance. What? Well, I want you to keep in mind that the Father, Father. going to send them. That's right. Jesus said that the Father the going to send them. will send in my and name. And we all must agree the Father is God. That's right. Is that right, I say? That's right. I write John 15, 26. St. John 15 and verse 26. I want to harmonize the Bible here. But when the Comforter... Jesus still talking. That's right. When the Comforter... But when the Comforter is come... Is come. Whom I will send unto you. <laughs> 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whom I will send unto you. Jesus said, I'm going to send them. I will send unto, unto you. you. From the Father. From the Father. Even the spirit of Even truth. The, what is called the comforter. Even the spirit of truth. It is the spirit of truth. Which proceeded from the Father. Which come from the Father. He shall testify of me. He will bear witness of me. That's right. Well, first Jesus said, whom the, the Father, Father will send him. And then Jesus said, Whom I will send. How many send them? One. If Jesus Christ is not the Father, how many sending him? One. The Father going to send them. Jesus said, I'm going to send them. <laughs> That's right. You don't have two sending them. That's right. So it got to be the same one. Same one. The scriptures, viewers, never classify the Holy Ghost as the third person of the Godhead. No. Am I right, I said? Thank yes. God we're going to detail this Holy Ghost business God knows. That's right. The scriptures never, never categorize the Holy Ghost as the third supreme person of the Godhead. No, no. Never. Never. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, God, divine. That's right. So the prophet said what? Back in 2nd Esther chapter 14 and verse 22. Yes. But if I have found grace before thee. You know, Hallelujah. this is how you seek him. First, it starts off with being introduced to him. That's right. You cannot seek who you don't know. That's right. No more can you wish up what you don't understand. That's right. How do God introduce us to him? He said he make manifest his word through preaching. Through preaching. Making manifest his word. Through preaching. Making manifest his thoughts. That's right. Making manifest his mind. That's right. Through preaching. Through preaching. Line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there, there a little. Here a little. Old Testament, New Testament must be harmonized about the same God. That's right. That's here a little, there a little. There a little. To begin to seek the Lord while you may be found wow. means seek him while you have life. That's right. Because the dead can't find him. That's right. That's why it says seek your Lord while wow. he may be found. found. That means while you living. That's right. Thank God because the day coming, you won't be able to find him because the dead know of nothing. Know of nothing. Before I seek him. Hallelujah. Thank God I want to hear the trump of God. Hmm. I need to hear the word of God that my mind, yes. my ears might be quickened. That's right. You know, that's the first thing God deal with, the quickening of your ear. That's right. When he quicken your, uh, your ear, it say, you give attention. That's right. To the sound of God that don't sound like nothing else. That's right. While the word of God is preached, your ear hear what the Spirit, what the Holy Ghost, what the Lord, what your Savior says to the church. Says to the church. Thank God that what I hear, travel, glory be to God, in my mind and in my heart. Now when they heard this. What? In Acts chapter 2 and verse 37. What happened? Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. Hold it. You know, God deals with the heart. That's right. Your heart must be ready. That's right. To submit. 
country. Declaring that you desire the Holy Ghost, you must be ready, prepared to accept, or should I say welcome, welcome. the presence of the Almighty God. Created me a clean heart. Why would God come where you don't want him? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. God don't do force entry. No. Whosoever will. Whosoever will, let him come. Let him come, let him come. and drink freely. That's right. God wants you to be willing. Willing. Seek him willingly. Wait on him willingly. That's right. Not by constraint. If ye be willing. The Bible said if ye be willing and obedient. Ye shall eat the good of the land. And the good of the land is the good of God's word. That's right. So now I'm in the phase of hearing, hearing. the word of God. Now the word is starting to deal with my mind that I may think on the things of God and then with my heart that I may be affectionate towards the things of God. That's right. My mind, think about it. My heart, I got feelings about it. Yeah. Because when God deal with your heart, Hallelujah. and you mean business with God, your heart become drawn to him. That's right. Glory to hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah to God. God Almighty said, he that hunger and thirst, and thirst after, after righteousness, righteousness shall be filled. Shall be shall filled. Be filled. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hungry. Hungry. Thirsty. Thirsty. And the Holy Ghost is described in both categories. That's right. Food is something solid. Thirsty, liquid. liquid. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. God word, meat for the belly. Bread from heaven. Bread from heaven. God word, living water. Living water. Milk. That's right. That's right. God wants you to be hungry. Blessed are they that do hunger. Do you hear it? Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6. Matthew chapter 5 and 6. Blessed are they. What kind of people are they? Blessed are they. Blessed. Blessed are they. Which, Hallelujah. Which Glory do hunger. Which do hunger. And thirst. And thirst. After righteousness. After what's right. For they. They. Shall be filled. Shall be filled. filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hunger. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Hunger. Hunger and thirst. I can quote, seek the Lord, seek the Lord, wait, tarry. But if you don't know how to seek him. That's right. If you don't know how to wait. Right. If you don't know how to tarry, which is what wait means, That's and right. if you don't know what should you be doing while you're waiting, wow. your waiting is in vain. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. If I'm hungry, hungry, I'm looking for something to eat. That's right. Glory to God. If I'm thirsty, that's right. I'm looking for something to drink. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. So I'm searching for the food and the drink that only heaven has. That's right. Seek the Lord. 
Lord. Seek the Lord. While he may be found. That's right. Yeah. Call upon him. While he is near. While he is near. He is near. Nobody can seek God and not wait on him. That's right. If I seek the Lord, That's I right. have an expectation of him. That's right. To receive what I'm seeking him for. That's right. But I got to wait until he found mercy. That's right. Hallelujah. It is my hunger and my thirst that keep me there. Hallelujah. My hunger, hunger. keep me going after him. My thirst Go ahead. keep me going after him. My want Go ahead. keep me going after him. Go ahead. Lord. Hallelujah. I'm thirsty. Go ahead. Lord. Hallelujah. I'm hungry. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Blessed are they. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How thirsty. Go ahead. Are you? Go ahead. Blessed are they. Hallelujah. 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 How hungry. Blessed are they. Are you? Go ahead. How thirsty. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Are you? Go ahead. You can't go before God like you so full. Preach it. A hungry man and a hungry woman do not come to the tables with manners. That's right. They don't try to eat proper. That's right. They don't care how they look. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't care what you think of them. Hallelujah. Go ahead. You show me a hungry man and a hungry woman. Preacher. You put a plate of food in front of them. That's right. They ain't got no table manners. That's right. They don't care what you think of them. Go ahead. They don't care how they look to you. Go ahead, Pastor. That's the way you got to be. That's right. And pursuing God. Stop worrying about how folks think about you. Go ahead. Lord, Go ahead. I'm hungry. Hungry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Lord. Go ahead. I'm thirsty. Preach it, brother. Hallelujah. Blessed are they. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed are they. When your hunger Go ahead. and your thirst. Thirst. When your hunger and thirst get right, go ahead. You will seek him right. Seek him right. That's right. That's right. Seeking God don't mean go ahead, brother. You just do nothing. No. And say you waiting on him. No, no. That's not waiting for the Holy Ghost. No, no. Did you hear what I said? 
when you properly seek and wait, wait. for the Holy Ghost, Go ahead. you don't sit back and do nothing. No, no. You say, all I got to do is wait. Oh, no. You got it wrong. That's right. That's right. Waiting, tarrying, is there some work involved? Some works. In the midst of you seeking him. That's right. On the day of Pentecost, these all continue With in prayer and supplication. and supplication. That's right. They continue in prayer and supplication. That's right. They continue, they continue. in prayer Go ahead. and supplication. Go ahead. When you're hungry, Hallelujah. you'll pray. Go ahead. When you're hungry, Go ahead. you'll have supplication. That's right. That's right. What is supplication? Supplication. Supplication. Go ahead. It's when you beg God. Go ahead. A hungry man and a hungry woman begs for food. Go ahead. They're begging. When you really want the Holy Ghost, you'll beg for it. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead, brother. You're bad for it. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is how you seek him. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Many of you Hallelujah. are too casual. Yeah. No hungry man is casual. No, no. A hungry man Go ahead. and a hungry woman, they are looking, walking up and down the street yeah. in trash cans, searching. That's right. You got to seek the Lord. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wherever you go. Wherever you go. Don't let your appetite die down. That's right. For fighting the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Get years out your mind. Get months out your mind. Yeah. Get weeks out your mind. Yeah. And get days out your mind. That's right. And be hungry oh. right now. That's right. Right now. Go ahead. Hallelujah. He's a right now God. Go ahead. Go ahead. You let God know. Preach it. You're hungry now. Now. I want to eat now. Go ahead. I want to drink now. I'm hungry. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm hungry. As Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hungry. I said. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. You stop taking God Go ahead. and put him so far. Yeah. Don't you ever Hallelujah. take the Lord Hallelujah. and look at tarrying as a layback and you do nothing. You do nothing. And expect for God to do something. That's right. It don't work like that. No, no. You want God to work? You got to work. That's right. Faith without, without works. works is hey, dead. Hey. Glory to Hallelujah. Faith without, without works, works, works is dead. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may say, 
I believe God for the Holy Ghost. Good. But are you working? That's right. Even so, faith. See, the works of them on the day of Pentecost was not just obeying go to Jerusalem. No, no. But the work was prayer, prayer. and supplication. Supp supplication. That's the work. That's right. To coincide with their obedience. That's right. Faith without works. Without works. Is dead. It don't mean nothing. Being alone. Being by itself. That's right. So how are you seeking God? Hallelujah. Are you really hungry? Are you really thirsty? Really hungry or thirsty. Or are you just saying, church, pray for me. Yeah. That I may receive the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. What are you doing? That's right. That's right. The Holy Ghost, it can fall yeah. while you preach that the word is preaching. That's right. It can fall on you. That's right. In a praying service. Hallelujah. It can fall on you while somebody testifies. That's right. It'll fall on you while somebody playing the instrument. That's right. It can fall on you before you are baptized. Hallelujah. It can fall on you after you're baptized. Go ahead. Lord, Hallelujah. I'm hungry. Hungry. Lord, I'm thirsty. Thirsty. Hallelujah. 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 Examine your hunger. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Blessed are they which do hunger. The word says. Blessed are they which what do hunger. What did it say? St. Matthew chapter 5 and at verse 6. Matthew chapter 5. And verse 6. Everybody all right? Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst Are you blessed tonight? Yeah. Blessed. You are blessed. Blessed. If you're hungry. Yeah. And thirst. And thirst. So now you better ask yourself, Go ahead. are you really blessed? That's right. It did not say Go ahead, you're man. blessed if you're being taught about hunger and thirst. No. If you hear about hunger and thirst. No. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled you know go ahead the woman and man that's hungry when they finally eat oh, amen their hunger pains cease oh yes oh, when yes. they're thirsty they dry mouth Go ahead, say God. Go ahead. And they dry throat. Cease. Yes. When you're hungry and thirsty, thirsty. enough that satisfies God. That's right. That's right. He will give you the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. And you will feel it in your belly. That's right. rivers of living water. That's right. You will fill it in your mouth. That's right. Because God will take over your tongue. That's right. And your appetite for him will be filled. Will be filled. Hallelujah. How hungry, hungry are you? That's it. That's it. How hungry are you? Hungry. Hallelujah. If there was no hunger in them on the day of Pentecost, they would have never no. been filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, no. Jesus said the promise is unto you. Unto you. There's the promise. That's right. 
Right there. Right there. Stop looking at it so far. That's right. It's right there. For the promise is unto you. God says, neither. That's right. But what saith it? What saith it? The word Third is chapter and verse. Romans chapter 10 and at verse 8. Proverbs. But what saith it? What you say? The word is nigh thee. Nigh thee. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. You see that? That's right. It gets to your mouth. Mouth. Then it gets to your heart. And in thy heart. And the words of faith. Which we preach. Which we're talking about. That's right. So the Holy Ghost is the divine nature, characteristics, function of the Most High God that dwells in man that seeks him. That's right. Seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost and being obedient as I travel towards him. That's right. In the midst of you seeking Lord, the Lord, Lord, there will be failures yeah. and accomplishments. Yes. Failures come to try your patience. That's right. See where you give up. That's right. God ain't going to lay no bed of roses for nobody that seeks him. No, no. That's not the way God do it. That's right. That's right. Why you seeking him? Failures. Accomplishments. Thou knowest my downsetting. That isn't your downsetting. Chapter and verse. Psalms 139 and we're at verse 2. You know my downsetting. And my uprising. And you know my uprising, my accomplishments. Thou understandest you my understand thought afar my off. You understand my thoughts afar off. You know how sometimes I get distracted. That's right. What? Thou compassest my path. You can pass where I journey. And my lying down. And my lying down. And are acquainted. You are acquainted. With all my ways. You know my ways please you sometime and don't please you. For there is not a word in my tongue. You know there are things I say that I should not say. But lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest Lord, all together. You know them thou hast all together. Thou God hast is not asking you Go ahead, man. to be perfect. To receive the Holy Ghost. Wonderful teaching. Wonderful teaching. Hallelujah. You're putting the cart before the horse. Yeah. God is not asking nobody. That's that's true. To be perfect. That's right. To receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. He's telling you to humble yourself. Yes. Believe in Him. Yes. Seek Him. That's it. Wait on him. Wait on him. Obey him. That's it. That you may receive the Holy Ghost that I give you perfection. That's right. Hallelujah. How do you seek the Lord? Hallelujah. The mistake that many of us make. Some of you get relaxed and you say, if I don't receive them this year, I'm awake to next year. Right. And this year not gone. Yeah. You setting yourself up to be lazy. That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. Why push God so far off if he declared he's nigh thee? Nigh thee. A person that needs to eat huh. Ain't waiting the next year. <laughs> That's right. If food is right in front of them. Right in front of them. That's right. This is why the Lord Hallelujah. challenges the spiritual appetite of every man That's right. and every woman. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So if I seek the Lord, young brothers and sisters. I don't want you to think that your leader, your brother, don't understand yeah. your distractions. Oh, yes. I can't give you the Holy Ghost. No. It doesn't matter how hard the Lord make me preach it. You can't go get it. That's right. 
but you can be taught how to pursue it. How to pursue it. Are you listening? But if I have found grace before thee. You want God to find grace before thee. Before him. Second Esther 14 and verse 22. Go to God Hallelujah. looking for his mercy. That, that's right. That's right. Go to God wanting his grace. Amen. His compassion. Amen. A hungry person can be a very aggressive eater. Oh, yes. I hope you can get this. One of you brothers, give me, give me another bottle, please. Mark real quick. A hungry person is a very aggressive eater. Yeah. I mean, they plate, their faces down in the plate, eating like a dog. Oh, yes. There was a man in the Old Testament by the name of Gideon, and he had to separate various men and then observe those men how they eat, or rather how they lap water, they lap water. and how they watch. The ones that lapped water and was looking put them aside. The ones that lapped water and just was not looking, you put them aside. See, the ones that lapped water and was looking, they would make good soldiers. Yes. Because they're not just looking to quench their thirst, they're watching their surroundings. That's right. God wants you to look to him yeah. and also observe self. That's right. And when you observe self, you will know, ask yourself, are you really doing hmm. all what you can do to receive the Holy Ghost? And whenever you can find yourself able to do better, better than what you're doing, put it into action. That's right. You know, our conventions, wonderful, the seminars that you have are good. During the international convocation in Charlotte, We want everybody. There will be thousands there. Yes. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're going to cut down on a lot of seminars. Right. And I'm going to meet with all the brothers and the women, the women at about two, and all the brothers at about three. <clears throat> but the majority of that conference, Wonderful. you're going to give yourself over to prayer. Yeah. Right. Not going around the city. Yeah. Not going for sightseeing. Not going on no buggy ride. Not going on some horseback. Not shopping at some mall. My job is to prepare you for Preach the it. coming of Christ. Preach it. Jesus said, Verily, Verily, I say unto you, except a man, a man be born of water, is born of water and of the spirit, and of the spirit, he cannot, he cannot enter into, the kingdom, into the kingdom of God. You that are not yet baptized. Hallelujah. Don't wait till you're baptized to seek the Holy Ghost. That's right. 
That's right. The Holy Ghost come in him or her that believe and seek Jesus. and fulfills God's word. That's right. The time that many of us, see, when I was coming up, we as children, we would go to the church through the week when there is no service. Yeah. And cry out to God in prayer. And supplication. And supplication. Bible says be instant in prayer. In prayer. That's not written for nothing. No. You must create in yourself a prayerful atmosphere. And you want to have a prayerful temple. Yeah. The less prayerful you are, the more carnal you become. That's right. The less prayerful you are, the more weak you become. That's right. The less prayerful you are, the more vulnerable your mind and heart is towards the thoughts and the actions of Satan. And he spake a parable unto them. Listen. In St. Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. He spake a parable unto them. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. Give chapter and verse again. St. Luke. Everybody all right? Yeah. What is it? St. Luke chapter 18 and we're at verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught his apostles well. That's right. Always. So when he told them to tarry in Jerusalem, yes. Jesus taught all the way up till it was time for death. That's right. So it wasn't just go to Jerusalem and tarry. No. But for they was told that, they was told to be instant in prayer. This is why it was so easy for everybody to continue in prayer, in prayer and supplication. That's right. Because they know in order for them to get what they want for God, they have to ring up heaven. That's right. They themselves had to be active. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Wonderful. Like when prayer is going on here. There ain't nobody should be sitting down talking, yeah. sitting down reading. No sound testing should be going on. That's right. No choir rehearsal. Do you not know prayer is sacred communication between you and God? That's right. That's right. It's sacred. Oh, yes. You don't go before God like you so cute. No. A hungry person ain't worried about their looks. No, no. Ain't worried about their clothes. Yes. Somebody tell you, oh, you ain't got to cry loud. God can hear you. The word said cry loud. Wow. If you want something from God and uh, see, I know from experience. I sought the Lord like it was my last. I cried with my whole heart. Do you hear this? Psalms 119 and verse 145. You see all the Bible? Amen. I cried with my whole heart. That's the way some of us do not seek God. That's right. Somebody say, well, Pastor Jennings, I'm seeking him from my heart. Yes. But how much of your heart right. are you seeking them with? That's right. That's right. You get me? That's right. I cried. I cried with my whole heart. Whole with heart. my whole heart. Hear all of it. Hear me, O oh Lord. Hear me. Hear me, O oh Lord. I will keep thy statutes. 
I cried unto thee. I cried unto thee. Save me. What? Save me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is that? I cried unto thee. Save me. Save me. And I shall keep thy testimonies. Hallelujah. Do you not hear the prophets? Hallelujah. I cried. I cried to Lord, unto thee. Save me. Save me. Rescue me. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. According unto thy loving kindness. According to your loving kindness. Oh Lord, quicken me. Oh Lord, hallelujah. Oh Lord, quicken me. That's what you want. Oh Lord, quicken me. You that are seeking what the Holy Ghost from God, the prophet says, cry. Cry. And ask God. Quicken me. Quicken me. Quicken me. So the Holy like, Ghost come in you and it quicken you. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. In fact, it will quicken you before he get in there. That's right. He had come upon you and quicken you. That's right. <laughs> Do you hear what the prophet says? Psalms 119 and verse 149. Psalms 119, 149. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. According unto thy loving kindness. According to your loving kindness. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Quicken me. Quicken me. According to thy judgment. According to your judgment. Thou art near, O Lord. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. I told you he's not far. Thou art near, O Lord. Thou art near, O Lord. And all thy commandments are truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is here. Hallelujah. 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 God is here. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 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 He said he's near. Thou art near, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. 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 If God said he is near, That's right. why are you so far? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is the power of God, presence of God, the unction of the Holy One. That's right. That comes upon man and woman. And when the Holy Ghost come in you speaking in tongue, Hallelujah. it puts you in the church. That's it. It puts you in the body of Christ. That's it. Then you become a lively, lively stone. stone. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. I want to be a lively stone. Lively stone. I don't want to be no dead stone. No, no. No way. So I'm going to beg God, give me life. That's it. For me to be a live stone, give me life. That's it. Hallelujah. Cry to the Lord. That's it. Cry out to him. With my whole heart. Let your whole being hear me, O oh Lord. Cry out to God. That's it. Hallelujah. He hear you. That's it. Don't let the devil tell you he don't hear you. That's God right. hear you. That's it. Hallelujah. Don't Hallelujah. let the devil cause you to doubt him. Hallelujah. God hear you. I cried with my whole heart. The devil is a liar. Go ahead. God hear. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. while you seek the Lord, Go ahead. the devil try to convince you God don't hear you. That's right. God That's hear all of us. That's right. Tell God you need him now. That's right. You want him now. That's right. You desire him now. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right now. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Go to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to God. Hallelujah. 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 I cried with my whole heart. Doubt. Go ahead. Not believing God. Go ahead. Doubt has no place in God's church. That's right. God don't want none of his people to doubt him. That's right. You mean to tell me the devil can convince you that God don't, don't hear you? Don't hear you. He made the heavens. Go ahead. And he can't hear you? Go ahead. He made the earth. And he can't hear you? Go ahead. He made the world. And he can't hear you? brother go ahead go ahead man I cried with my whole heart yeah I cried with my whole heart I cried hallelujah I cried under him hallelujah hallelujah crown to him with my whole heart Believe the God of Abraham. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Always remember. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The devil is a liar. The liar. Hallelujah. Do you hear me, church? Go ahead. The man. devil is what? The devil is what? The devil is what? Believe it. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Go ahead. Go ahead. God said the promise Go ahead. is done to you. Go ahead, man. And to your children. And to all. And to all. And to all. That is a far off. Even as many. Even as many. As the Lord, as the Lord shall call. Our God shall call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to God. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Preach it, brother. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot be the church Go ahead, of the Lord Jesus Christ Hallelujah. without the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost. You can't be the church Hallelujah. of the Lord Jesus Christ Hallelujah. without the Holy Ghost. For by one spirit. The Holy Ghost makes the church. That's right. The Holy Ghost established the church. Go ahead. The Holy Ghost runs the church. Preach it, brother. Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 143 and verse you 1. You that are watching. Hallelujah. That hear the word of God. Wherever you at in the world. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost can come where you at. Yes. Whether you in Australia. Oh, Holy yes. Ghost is there. Oh, yes. South America. Yes. Holy Ghost is there. That's right. Jamaica. Yes. Holy Ghost is there. That's right. Germany, yeah. Holy Ghost is there. Yeah. South Pacific, yeah. Holy Ghost is there. That's right. Across the Atlantic, yeah. Holy Ghost is there. Yeah. America, yeah. Holy Ghost.
Ghost is here. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. It is time. Hallelujah. For everybody. Go ahead, man. To seek the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. While he may be found. While he may be found. Call upon him. While he is near. Why he's near. He's near. Hallelujah. Why you have life. Hallelujah. Take advantage of it. Oh, yes. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. You know, Hallelujah. many times after service, oh, service is over, many hundreds of young people have what is called praise night. Hallelujah. Stop all that singing. Buckle down and pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Shake heaven up. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. There's a famine. Yes. Within many of you. Yeah. And it takes the spirit of God to satisfy that famine. That's right. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God, power of God. Hallelujah. The divine nature of Christ yes. that reside in man to change man's nature, character, attitude, and earthly performance. That's right. It's the characteristics of man, or rather God, that stand up in man to transform him transform. into a new creature. That's right. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, God, the divine nature of God that comes in us, that's how he builds his church. Builds his church. That's right. Building, or rather stone by stone. Stone by stone. Whenever someone receives the Holy Ghost, I don't care where they're at in the earth, that's another stone. That's another stone. Added to the building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Except the Lord build the, build house. the house. They labor, they labor in vain. That builder. That builder. That's right. When I hear about souls receive the Holy Ghost anywhere in the world, anywhere, it's another stone oh, yes. added to the building. To the building. Honey. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Be hungry. Hallelujah. Be thirsty. Be hungry. Yeah. Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Be godless sorrow. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord from the depths of your heart, your whole heart. Hallelujah. Whole heart. Hallelujah. Seek him with the expectation. That's it. To live up to his promise. That's right. Wait on him don't mean to sit back and do nothing. No, no. Wait on him simply means to seek the Lord and wait for him to fulfill his promise while you are active. Right. Seeking him in prayer. That's right. And supplication. And supplication. Like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's right. Hallelujah. They that wait upon the Lord. Yes. He'll renew your renew strength. Renew your strength. The reason why our strength needs to be renewed, it doesn't matter what we're waiting for because we get weak and discouraged. That's right. Even the youth shall faint. Listen. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and at verse 30. The Bible is talking plain. Even the Even youth. the young folk. Shall faint. Shall faint. And be weary. And you shall be weary. And the young men. And the young men. Shall, shall utterly, utterly fall. Utterly fall. But they that wait. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Notice he addressed your condition first. That's right. Even the youth shall faint. He sees that you're young. 
And he know you're going to faint. That's right. And be weary. You're going to get weary. And the young men shall utterly and fall. And you're going to fall. But they that so wait. Hallelujah. They that wait. Upon the Lord. Oh, the Lord shall renew their strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will bounce back. That's right. That's right. You will bounce back. Shall renew their strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. You get weak. Go ahead, man. You faint. Go ahead. But if the wait on the God of heaven. Amen. While you seek him. Hallelujah. You will bounce back. Shall renew their strength. Your strength. Hallelujah. I need renewed strength. That's right. If I'm going to seek the Lord. That's right. I need renewed strength. That's right. Hallelujah. God, man, all this stuff I'm up against. Yes. I need God to renew my strength over, 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 over. Go ahead. That's right. Hallelujah. Read that again. They, the, even the youth shall faint. Listen, young people. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The word of God is talking to you. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 30. Isaiah chapter 40 and the 30th verse. Even the youth shall Even faint. Even the young folk shall faint. The youth. Youth. Hallelujah. You know the Holy Ghost know what they give you. Hallelujah. The youth shall faint. Have you young people felt like you were fainting sometime? You felt like giving up? Go ahead, man. You felt like God didn't hear you? Go ahead. You felt like you wasn't making no progress? Go ahead. You felt as though you were defeated? Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. God is talking to you. Even the youth shall faint. Even the youth shall faint. Shall faint. And be weary. And you will be weary. And the young men the shall young utterly men? fall. Oh. Hallelujah. You're going to fall. Going to fall. But, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. What's going to happen? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Here come the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mount up with wings as eagles. That's the elevation of the Spirit of God that brings us from a dead level to a high level. They shall run. Run and not be weary. Hallelujah. Notice, I want you to pay attention to actions. Two actions. That the Lord said you're going to do. That's right. They shall what? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. And? They shall run. Run. And not be weary. And then what? They shall walk and not faint. Hold it. Hallelujah. Run and walk. <laughs> That's right. Run and walk. And walk. Mm. There's a time to run. That's right. There's a time to walk. That's right. Two different acts. Amen. Trying to reach the same goal. That's it. Run. Wonderful. To him. Hallelujah. Walk after you come to him. That's it. Hurry up and go after God. That's it. Take your time Go ahead, man. while you're pursuing him. Go ahead, brother. There's a time to run. Go ahead, man. And there's a time to walk. Wonderful, wonderful. Hallelujah. And you mount up on wings of an eagle. Yes. That's when the power of the Holy Ghost, because you're waiting on him. Oh, yes. Will get a hold of you. Oh, yes. Like the eagle glide upon the, you ever see the eagle? Sometimes he don't flap his wings. <laughs> That's right. He just glide. That's right on the air. That's right. Glide on it. Hallelujah. Let God take you over like the wind of an eagle. Of an eagle. And when God take you over, Amen. you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Speaking in other tongues. Hallelujah. As the Spirit of God give utterance. Hallelujah. Anybody want to be baptized tonight? In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Who oh, gave me the correct time, brother? I done had a long day. I've been here all day. All day. Session after session after session. Hallelujah. Thank God after this session, I'm getting out of here. Yeah. Amen. So don't stop me. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Don't stop me. I have a chance. Hallelujah. I have a chance. I have a chance to be saved. Yes, if yes, if yes, if yes, I have a chance. Everybody stay standing. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy, to the only wise God and Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the church say, Amen. Amen.